In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of the collaborative economy. We're going to argue that when building sustainable business models, several different organizations need to come together and form alliances or collaborations that span across organizational boundaries. Because if you're going to solve the big, messy sustainability problems, the solutions are likely to exist across organizations. Collaboration is an essential part of every business model. We talked about how to deliver value, and here partnership is essential. So you need partners to be able to deliver value, and you need partners often to be able to capture value. If we think about it, collaboration can in itself be the basis for a new business model. And many so-called platform business models are based on the idea of pulling together different players from the same industry or across industries who together can solve problems for the customer that each of them wouldn't be able to do on their own. What we're really talking about here are business models that are tied together in, in kind of an industrial symbiosis and we have many examples of that. One such example is Colin Borg symbiosis. It's basically a simple industrial park, like there are many of all over the world. There's a specific characteristic, however, of Colin Borgsweinung, and this is that w the waste of each of the companies inside the park is a resource for someone else inside the park. So warm water from one company can be used in another company, for instance, in the aquaculture. In the middle of the industrial park, there's a coal plant and the emissions from that coal plant become input factors for the producer of gypsum plates in the building right next door. In this way, they form alliances where waste becomes resources. In addition, they also collaborate uh, by getting new knowledge about how to operate in this new and innovative way. So it's interesting to think about an alternative universe where Kallenborg Industrial Park was not an industrial park, but just a bundle of companies who were incidentally each other's neighbors. In such a world, there would be a lot more waste that now is used as resources by the other companies. There would be much less knowledge shared across these organizations. So simply by gathering them together, making them see each other as partners, as strategic alliance partners, there's a lot of value creation happening inside the industrial park that would otherwise not be possible. Such a symbiosis is perhaps an ideal. Many managers are not a part of such an ecosystem like that. And how should they go about Lars Jakob to, to find new partnership to, to create, deliver and capture value in new ways? Here we're back to the basic innovation challenge that sustainable business models is all about. One of the interesting things that we're seeing happening now is that new entrepreneurs, or for that matter, existing companies, find ways of solving the problems of others. Take the example of food waste, for instance. There's now a lot of companies popping up around the grocery stores that can help them use this uh, excess resource, the food that is almost becoming waste, so that you can avoid this. One example, Sainung, is Too Good To Go, an app that tries to solve the food waste problem. With Too Good To Go, you as a customer, you can go at the end of the day and you can pick up uh, food uh, at a discount uh, that would otherwise be thrown away. Uh, too Good To Go then is an alliance for a restaurant or a cafe. Without the app provider, this ecosystem would in some sense not exist. It would just be a lot of grocery stores and restaurants around town who had excess food. But through the solution of the platform, you suddenly have an alliance of companies who are allowing consumers to buy food that would otherwise be thrown away. In order to solve the complex sustainability problems that we are facing, we need many alliances like this. We need collaboration between different kinds of companies and in different industries who can learn from each other. And this is one of the promising things that we're seeing now is that the best ideas from grocery stores can be used by companies in entirely different industries. When technological innovators provide solutions of new technologies, we see that they are used across different industries to solve problems related to waste, excess resources, and so on. In addition, we need alliances between business and, for instance, NGOs. 
We need alliances between business and governments. We need institutions like that to work together to solve these kinds of problems. Because not all problems can be solved by businesses alone. They are dependent on regulations, so they need to communicate with the regulators. They are perhaps dependent on getting access to markets in, in, in poor parts of the world, where perhaps NGOs can get, give them access to these markets. So like you were saying, Sino, knowledge is a big part of this, but a mindset is also a big part of this. There's a trend today towards what is called open innovation. This idea that we should share our best ideas with other companies, we should let our consumers or suppliers or other partners look at our business model and, and help us improve it. And this innovative and in, in thinking in new ways, this kind of mindset that drives new business models is really key to get a collaborative economy going.